Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another 212 for you today. So, uh, revisiting a couple of elements to make a new type of project. This is the uh, monkey's fist snake knot bracelet. So it's the, uh, yeah, snake knot, simple snake knot that we've all uh, know and love. But the closure method is with this monkey's fist. All right, so I saw this idea uh, through a fellow paracordist, uh, Yingli83. Definitely check out his Instagram profile. Um, does really great work, takes some nice photos. And yeah, it's a really simple concept using this monkey's fist as the knot and loop closure. And I think it's really nice. All right, so that's what we're learning today, guys. Hope you'll like it. Remember to um, check out my affiliate links down below if you're looking for paracord and all that good stuff. And also uh, feel free to support me on Patreon if you like what I do. And a big thank you to this month's Patreons as well. All right, um, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off, we're going to tie our monkey's fist. That's uh, We're going to work our way to the other end of the bracelet that way. And we're going to tie a diamond knot first. Uh, you could use a marble for this, but um, we're just going to keep it simple and have a diamond knot be the core of the monkey's fist. So let's uh, quickly go through the diamond knot, which we've all done quite a few times. I've got my two strands out in front. And you're going to have to adjust it later. But anyways, um, make a loop. The strand on the right, put that over top the strand here, the strand on the left. Okay, bring that strand behind the strand on the right, and go over this strand under the middle and over the last one. So we have our Carrick's bend. <coughs> <coughs> And then from here, you're going to take the strand on the right, go past the brown strand, and bring that through the middle. And then this strand, bring it across the gold or tan. And, oops, this one came apart. Bring that through the middle. And then bring this strand across and through, through the middle. Okay. So now you want to cinch up your knot and try to get it as uh, as close to the end or the end of your strings as strands as possible. So just cinch it up. And now, um, just shorten these strands because you want them as short as possible. So just bring the excess through. Don't pull it out all the way though. And then this strand as well. Just shorten it much as much as you can <clears throat> okay so now that you've got your diamond knot tied uh, just snip and singe the excess here I didn't pull it out you know uh, all the way through just because I didn't want to mess up my knot but yeah, get it as close as you can and then just snip and singe these excess cords. Okay, so we've got the excess snipped off. Now we're going to tie our uh, monkey's fist. So I've done a tutorial on this before, but we'll go through it again, of course. Uh, we're going to start with the strand on the left and this section in from the diamond knot here to my thumb here is just a little over uh, one foot, okay? So um, from here, you're going to have to just kind of play with it and you're gonna do the first three passes with this strand here on the left. So let's go one, two, three, okay? And if this part gets a little too short, just adjust it, but you're going to have to, again, put that diamond knot in the middle because that's our core. All right, now next we're gonna take the strand, the other uh, opposite color strand, and we're gonna do our passes around the middle. Okay, so 
Got that in there. So let's go through the middle now. It's one pass. There's the second pass. Make sure these uh, cords stack properly too. And then this is the third pass. And then from here, we can take our fingers out. And now we're going to do our um, vertical passes through the top here, top and bottom. Okay, so let's go through here, pull that all the way through. And then now through the bottom. So we're going this way now. Bring that towards you. Back through the top. Again, pull that through there. Bring this through here. Okay, and there we go. So make sure you go around and have um, three passes on every side as I do here. And now we can cinch out the excess. So I'm gonna start with this strand and bring it all the way through. So take out all the excess and tighten up your monkey's fist. Okay, so we've got our monkey's fist tied. Now we're gonna tie um, our snake knot bracelet. And we're gonna tie this more traditional way, the way uh, kind of JD Lenzen taught us. We're going to take the left strand, bring it around the brown there. And then you're going to take the brown, bring that behind, put it through this opening here. Okay, and then cinch everything shut since that first snake knot closed. And then now we're going to loosen this uh, first knot here. You're going to take the brown strand, bring it underneath the the tan strand or gold strand there and put it through the top okay you pull that shut then we're going to flip it towards us and then again loosen loosen one take the strand behind bring it to the front and put it through and then tighten Okay, then again, rotate it towards you, loosen, and repeat. Okay, this time I'm just going to bend it through. So you can do, just do that, make it a bit faster. And then tighten. And then same thing. Okay, so <clears throat> this was uh, just a modified kind of version, or method rather, of tying the snake knot. We're not going to tie, I don't... I, you can tie the snake knot separately like we did before in other bracelets, but I kind of like this way a bit better. It just makes the bracelet a little thicker. Okay, so just uh, continue this process until you have the desired length of your bracelet. Okay, so uh, woven down the length of my bracelet and we, now we just have to create our loop closure. There's a couple ways to do this. Um, if you refer to uh, Ying Li's tutorial um, or his pictures, he cuts the um, cord right here and then you just bend this around and you can melt it and join it like that. 
But um, that one's a little risky because if you don't size it properly and it's too small or too big, um, you're going to have some issues, you know, closing the bracelet. So we're just going to do a simpler, more risk-free way. But you can do that other one if you like. Um, we're just going to tie a single snake knot. That's it. So bring this cord around here and put this one through here. Okay, so now you can kind of adjust this to um, how you see fit. So let's bring this guy maybe right here, pull it super tight, and now just give yourself a test. Um, make sure this can fit through. So that's still a little big. I can probably make it a little smaller. And don't worry about the uh, snake knot coming loose because once you snip and melt it, it's going to be very, very secure. Okay, so size it right. See that fits through like so. And now we have our closure and now just uh, snip and singe um, yeah, these two excess pieces here and make sure you, you uh, pull it really tight and melt it because then it will never come loose. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. So I snipped and singed that bit of excess here and that has created our loop. So when you wear this bracelet, it fits just fine and it works perfectly. All right. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, the Snake Knot Monkey's Fist uh, bracelet or Snake Knot bracelet with the Monkey Fist closure. Really interesting way of closing the bracelet. And for all you Monkey's Fist fans out there, I think you'll like this one. Guys, remember to check out Ying Li's uh, Ying Li 83's Instagram profile. Does great work. And uh, yeah, give him a follow. Let him know I sent you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon and also to support the channel uh, by purchasing items through those affiliate links. All right, thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one.